Hey YouTube, what's going on? John here. Today I'm going to do another tutorial for iBank. This is number four, and today I'm going to show you how to create a custom chart in iBank. And up in the top left hand corner, you're going to see this options for charts. You're going to go ahead and click that, and you have many different options here. Uh, balance sheet, capital gains, custom, quick summary, and return on investment. And what we're going to do is create a custom chart, and we're going to name it uh, test chart. And then down here you have date options. You want to report month to date, or all these other options here, last week, last two weeks. We're going to do last year. Since we're in 2011 now, and I want to do a chart on 2010 expenses, we're going to go to last year. And that will set our start date to the first of the year and our end date to the last day of the year. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. And over he here in the left hand side in your uh, navigation uh, area, you're going to see test chart. And what you're going to want to do is next to that navigation part, you're going to see the options for uh, this chart. And how often do you want this chart to set intervals at? You can select weekly bi-weekly, monthly, quarterly, and annually. We're going to do monthly here. And then we're going to, again, it goes from the first of the year to the last day of the year for us. And we're going to add um, accounts to this one. We're going to add our test account to this one because that's the account that has the transactions we want to add to it. And then right here, you're going to add your uh, categories that you want to add to it. We're going to add a couple of categories we have on our account, which is auto loan. Um, then we're going to add our salary, we want to track and see how much what our salary was for the year. And let's add, um, what else can we add? Let's go over and see what else we have here that we can add to it. We can add our cell phone to this, which is under utilities. And let's go ahead and use those three there. And as you can see, it creates a pie chart over here uh, showing uh, what you spent. And you can select that by category through time. Um, and transaction, but what you can do here with these custom charts is generate a report. And let's go ahead and click generate report, and you can print these out. And this creates a PDF report of whatever categories and accounts you want to keep track of by month, and a total for six months, and total for a year. And as you can see here, our income for January of 2010 was $4,975, and our expenses. Uh, were $300 based on the categories that I selected. Now you may have more categories you want to add to it and you can do that. And then it also gives you a grand total uh, of your net income here. And then it gives you a total over here for the six months. And then you can scroll down. There's two pages here. You got your next six months and it gives you a grand total for the year here. So that is how you create a custom chart in iBank. Um, if you have any comments or questions, leave those down below. Don't forget to uh, thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment as that always helps me out. And we'll catch you guys in the next video.